Stuart. Listen, I appreciate very much you coming down here and meeting me. Just remember our agreement, Lieutenant. No questions and no trying to get me to change my mind. Not one question. Not even a half a question. I only wanted you to see the exhibit. Why? Look, in order to understand a man, you have to understand his past. Quite a collection, hmm? See that book? That's a Marine military manual. Do you know the story behind that book? No. Mm -mm. Martin wanted to wait till the first rush of tourists had passed so he could explain everything to me himself. Oh. Gee, I guess he wants you to know what kind of man he is, too. About this book. There's a bullet in that book. A sniper tried to kill him. And that book stopped the bullet. And you know he never batted an eye. I mean, that, that tells you something about what kind of man he is. Yes, that he's a man filled with courage. More than a great deal. I think he has an unusual amount of courage, more than you and I, and more than average people. I mean, if it was me, I would faint. I mean, most people would take time to recover, but he didn't. You see, I think he's, uh, he's a very cool man under pressure. Hey, that's nice, isn't it? Isn't that beautifully cut? Custom tailored? You know, I think it's almost too nice. I mean, all that concern about clothes, it's kind of vain, don't you think? Some men, Lieutenant, do not want to look like an unmade bed. Just look at this stuff. Look at that. I mean, this man just had a natural flair for attracting attention to himself. Sometimes undesirable attention, Lieutenant. You don't seem surprised to see me. Oh, I was kind of expecting you. I mean, when I spoke to Mrs. Stewart, I had a hunch that she'd tell you. I'd like to know what this is all about. All right, sir. I'll get right to the point. It has to do with that duplicate of your gun. What about it? Well, I find it hard to believe. Mrs. Stewart, see if you agree with me on this. I find it hard to believe that a man like General Hollister, who saved and cherished every war souvenir, even the smallest photograph, I just think it's strange that he was so careless as to allow his gun to be stolen. I mean, that pistol was the most famous single symbol of his whole legend. You agree with me, don't you? Well, I don't know what you want me to say. Well, if it was me, if it was my gun, I would take very good care of that gun. I'd have it in my apartment where people could see it, and I would keep it polished, and I would keep it oiled, and I would keep it loaded. And when a certain Colonel Dutton came to see me and threatened to expose me, that's the gun that I would use. Well, if what you say is true, I mean, you searched. Where is that gun? That's what I ask myself. Where is the gun? Why not on public display? Why not in a glass case? Why not in front of thousands of people? And after we found Colonel Dutton's body, anybody else, you, me, anybody else, we'd have gotten rid of that gun. We found the bullet in the victim. And a ballistics check will match up the bullet with the gun. But somehow, General, something told me 
that you could never get rid of that gun. It meant too much to you. You couldn't even part with a cigarette lighter. No, that pearl-handled pistol was just too tied up in your pride. Because of your tremendous belief in yourself, you figured everyone would accept your story about having a duplicate made. But there never was a duplicate made, was there? This, in fact, is the murder weapon, isn't it, General? I assume ballistics has checked out the gun. That won't be necessary. All right, Lieutenant. Is it with me, Lieutenant, huh? I seem to have a special talent, you know? I mean, with, with all the men in the world, I always seem to pick Mr. Wrong. I, I'm seriously considering locking myself in a closet for the rest of my life. No, that's wrong. That's just the way my niece Marilyn felt after her divorce. Now she's got a new husband. As a matter of fact, he's a cop, and they got six kids. Uh, Lieutenant, I mean, just between us, would you tell me the truth? Do you really have a niece? Well, what kind of a question is that, do I really have a niece? Well, do you? Of course I've got a niece. My wife's sister's girl, Cynthia. Just one more thing. <laughs>